The following episode contains levels of spice that have been classified as galactically hazardous. If you have a fragile ego, a delicate sense of self-worth, or you think you can dish out toxicity without taking a hard look in the mirror, now might be the time to slither back to your safe space. This is not a drill. Still here? Brave or foolish? Either way, you've been warned. Coming up next is your unapologetically savage host, the one, the only, Visor Vox Flare from the Spectral Rift. They've got the tea so hot it might just incinerate your self-delusions. Buckle up, darlings. It's about to get uncomfortable. Yay! Good evening. Sentient beings and dubious life forms alike, welcome back to Galactic Tea Time, where we spill the cosmic tea hotter than a supernova in its midlife crisis. I'm your intergalactic guide, Visor Voxflare, the host with more sass than a black hole with abandonment issues. So, what's on today's menu of delightful galactic mishaps? Oh, only the most brilliant strategy ever concocted by those who have mastered the art of living disastrously. Yes, I'm talking about the parasitic abusers of the universe. That special breed of organisms who put all their proverbial eggs in the someone else's suffering is my lifeblood basket. I mean, truly, how could that strategy ever backfire, right? Let's break it down for our curious listeners who may not be familiar with this tactical genius approach to existence. Imagine, if you will, that instead of contributing anything meaningful to the universe, you just latch onto another poor, unsuspecting soul. You bring nothing to the table except your personal brand of toxicity and, oh yes, mediocrity, revolutionary, isn't it? I mean, why bother developing personality traits, you know, life skills or... I don't know, being a functioning member of any society, when you can just suck the energy, sanity, and joy out of someone else. Oh, wait, but here's the really spicy part. Are you ready? Eventually, surprise, that person is going to catch on, you know, the person who's suffering is supposed to sustain your entire parasitic lifestyle. They'll realize that, hey, I've got better things to do besides suffer on behalf of this leech who thinks their company is some kind of divine gift. Shocking, right? Now, I know, I know, parasites everywhere are probably clutching their venomous little hearts right now. But listen, if your whole survival strategy is banking on someone else willingly signing up to be miserable for your benefit, you've clearly grossly overestimated the appeal of your company. Who would have thought, right? That maybe just, maybe people aren't queuing up to be emotionally drained, manipulated, and treated like a doormat for the low, low price of nothing in return. Gasp! How could someone pass up on such an alluring offer? Sign me up for lifelong suffering. Oh wait, no, no one ever said that. No one in the history of sentient beings has ever said. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I'll dedicate my life to keeping a parasitic entity comfortable while I wither away in a pit of despair. Now, for our next segment, let's discuss the inevitable outcome of this parasitic strategy, shall we? Spoiler alert, it's a disaster. Because when your source of nourishment wises up and finally says, wait a minute, what exactly am I getting out of this? They will leave. And you, you're left with absolutely nothing. No life skills, no personality, no prospects, not even a decent holographic space flicks cue because you were too busy draining the will to live from others to develop any real interests of your own. So now you're not just a parasite, you're a lonely parasite. Congratulations, you must be proud. Let's take a moment to really reflect on the brilliance of this life strategy. You gambled your entire existence on the hope that someone else would be so invested in suffering for you that they just never leave. Bold move, truly. But you know what they say? People just don't appreciate good suffering like they used to. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but clearly you haven't experienced enough of it yourself if you think it's a, a luxury someone would choose to endure forever. Because spoiler alert, suffering is actually not that enjoyable. Wild concept, I know, especially when it's not even their own. It's just yours. Your petty, low vibrational mediocrity served cold with a side of narcissistic abuse. Delicious. And here's the twist these parasites never see coming. What happens when you've sucked the life out of everyone around you? No one else is willing to hang around for the misery buffet. And shockingly, you're now on your own. Who will you complain to about how unfair the universe is? Who will you gaslight into staying by your side while you bring nothing but chaos and bad vibes? Oh, right. No one. Because everyone else figured out that they could, in fact, move on and thrive without you. <laughs> Imagine that. Now, some of you may be asking, but Vizar, what's a parasite to do when the host leaves? 
Well, here's a radical idea. Are you ready? Develop some character. Get a life. Learn how to contribute something to others besides draining the color from their existence. Maybe just, maybe you could even try being useful. I know it's controversial, but hey, desperate times, right? And with that, dear listeners, we conclude today's lactic lesson. If you base your entire existence on the suffering of others, you will eventually be left with nothing but your own pathetic reflection. <laughs> Wondering why everyone else got wise and abandoned ship. The answer is simple, because you suck. Literally. That's all for this episode of Galactic Tea Time. Tune into our next transmission for more cosmic insights, where the universe continues to serve up lessons no one asked for, but everyone needs. This is Visa or Vox Flare signing off. Remember, Earthlings, if you're bringing nothing but toxicity to the table, don't be surprised when the universe stops inviting you to dinner. Catch you later, Galactic Gators. Galactic Gators.